So we have a delay. Somebody has been, this could be too busy. There was some type of delay with something, someone, something wasn't the right time. Procrastination is also on this card. So somebody could have felt like they had a lot of time to do something and maybe they could be running out of time. If this person felt like they had a lot of time to do something and um, instead of taking action, they just chose to wait. Um, this person made up excuses. They procrastinated. Somebody took this as a sign to create some type of um, obstacle, a delay for another person. Because it's like somebody felt like something wasn't needed at that time. Like they didn't rush to do something. Um, I'm getting something wasn't a rush, but they just felt like they could do it at a later time. And during that time um, that they've made up their mind to wait, somebody felt like this was an opportunity to um, create some type of confusion. Or some type of confusion could have took place to make another person feel like they need to wait before doing something. This could be you or this could be someone else. Um, but it's definitely involving taking action towards something. This could be goals. This could be moving forward in life. This could be doing something different, uh, starting a new career. Just being able to move forward and just not be stagnant. With hopeful popping out in the reverse... Somebody did not want someone to be inspired, optimistic. It's like they didn't want to see that person do anything successful. They didn't want them to look outside of the box. It's like somebody wanted things to stay the same. And if the person that felt like they needed to wait after an obstacle was created... If they decided to wait, it's like they had no clue that somebody close to them did not want to see them happy. This was definitely a hidden enemy. It's like they see your true potential, but they don't want you to see it because they don't want you to believe in yourself. They don't want you to start focusing on all of the things that you want to see change in your life. Because that means you will start taking action towards changing those things. Somebody didn't want this. It's like somebody would rather see another person's downfall than to see them happy. Yeah. This is someone who wanted to keep another person stuck in the past with wishful thinking being here. This could be in some type of fantasy, um, imagining things and just not believing that whatever they wanted to do would work out for them. Yeah, it's like somebody wanted someone to feel hopeless. This is why hopeful popped out in the reverse. They were accustomed to seeing that person depressed, lost. But this person being inspired, believing in their self, thinking positive about their future, moving on in life, that was new to someone. And they felt like they couldn't watch that person do anything new. It's almost like being attached to someone in you see an opportunity, a way out of something. And you're getting ready to take that step. But somebody end up, they're pulling you back and you don't know. You turn around and you don't know who it is. Yeah, this was, this was involving a, like a romantic relationship. Somebody was accustomed to another person being stressed out, all over the place, 
um, confused about. This could be love, in and out of toxic relationships, and they just did not want this person to move on towards um, happiness. It's like they were accustomed to seeing that person unhappy. They were accustomed to gossiping about that person. We have suffering in silence. Whoever the person is that chose to wait. And um, if this is like choosing to wait to follow their heart. Um, going towards someone that they feel like is wish fulfillment to them. Their true desire. And this could have been just, this could have also been like a friendship. Like somebody could have wanted to develop a friendship with someone. But they ended up getting delayed and they didn't see it as a blockage. It's like they fell right into a trap without knowing and now they're suffering in silence. This is someone who was masking their real feelings about another person. And they feel like whatever they had hoped and dreamed for, it, it's broken. Um, this person is like, they're heartbroken. Now, I'm also getting the delay some type of obstacle. This could have been some type of rumors that were spread on the person that they wanted to go towards to develop a friendship. This could be people that were very close, like people in their circle, family members, um, could have been close friends as well. But this was definitely someone that was very close. And they just felt like they needed to wait. It wasn't time for them to do something. But as I said, somebody fell right into a trap. Somebody was uh, creating a blockage and they couldn't see. Yeah, envy. This is an envious and jealous family member. This is someone, if this person is someone that wanted to develop a friendship with you, they view you as a romantic partner. This family member was discontent. This is someone who was very competitive. So they started looking at you and then they were comparing their self. If they view you as someone that is positive, you're inspirational to people and this person, they felt like they weren't. So of course they could get that person to do something that they would normally do because this is something that they were accustomed to. So if they were normally able to get that person to um, invest in some type of short-term business with them. That's what they chose to do to throw that person off, to confuse that person. And it's because they wanted to make that person um, feel like they weren't ready or they just could not follow their dreams. They could not follow their heart. They couldn't step out of the box. This person had to stay put. They had to keep their self blocked off from what they truly desire. Yeah. All of this needed to happen because somebody got to cut ties with a family member. These are the things that they needed to realize. So they can cut ties once and for all. Because somebody felt like they had some type of control over another person's love life, over their life as well. And it's like them choosing to listen to this family member and keep their self inside of the box and not follow their heart and what they truly desire. They're suffering the consequences. This is someone who was realizing all of the bad choices that they've made listening to um, another person's intuition instead of their own. Because this is not a positive energy with hopeful popping out in the reverse. This is a very negative energy that um, it's envious and jealous of this connection that this person wants to have with you.
Yeah, this needed to happen so somebody could look within, do some self-reflecting, and see the bigger picture. Because this is the last person that they would think does not want to see them happy, don't want to see them move forward in life. They would rather see that person depressed, feeling lost. And it could be because they're in that energy. This is someone who does not think positive about their life, about their future. This person could be suffering in silence. This person could be going through a lot of things that um, they keep hidden. But they're projecting it off onto whoever the person is that wants to come toward you. And they never seen it in the past, but now it's like they're able to see things crystal clear. And they definitely feel like listening to that person or doing whatever they were doing with that person that caused the delay. It caused them to wait, procrastinate as a bad decision. Yeah, this was some bad luck. And this also is someone with the judgment card popping out in the reverse. This is someone who judged you in a negative way. They don't like the fact that you're optimistic. They don't like the fact that you have hope. You believe in yourself. You're a positive person. So they definitely bad mouthed you. And they talked about you very harsh. And this was to make that person feel like I should not go towards that person or let me wait until things die down. They could have even tried to persuade this family member that whatever they were saying about you wasn't true. That's not who you are. And this person could have got behind the scenes and spread some type of rumors and lies to make sure that person did not come toward you. And this was all out of envy. It's like they wanted this person to cut ties with you. But it didn't happen that way because this person, definitely a twin flame or soulmate energy, this is your divine counterpart, they were able to see the truth. And it's like whatever they were saying about you to your person, they wanted your person to join in and talk about you in a negative way as well. And I'm getting with the high priestess card popping out. Whatever your person, um, whatever they were saying about you, they didn't believe. Somebody chose to trust in their intuition. If there was some type of rumor spread about you, lies going around, um, they chose to trust their gut. And them choosing to trust their intuition and not feed into what they were being told. They didn't know that whoever the person is that spread it, the lies, this envious, jealous family member, they didn't know that the truth was going to be revealed. Like something came out, some type of truth and clarity came out. And this person is also someone they felt like maybe they went to this family member and they confided in them about developing a friendship with you, seeing their self in a relationship with you. And this person was telling them, hey, you should not go towards this person because a relationship is just not good for you at this time. But this is someone who was competing with you. They seen that whoever your person is, is someone, um, they seen that whoever you are, your person felt inspired by you. They didn't feel inspired by this family member. So they felt like this would buy them time to like, you know, be in the energy that you're in, confuse your person, trick them. So they just would not come toward you. 
and your person would just never notice that they were trying to be like you. It's like they wanted your person to look up to them. Because it's something that you're doing or you were doing at this time that gave your person hope. And this could have been at a time where they were, you know, not in a good space. You could be someone who went through a lot, but you still had hope. You still believed in a brighter future. You still were in a positive energy. And you've came out successful, so it gave your person hope. Watching you go through something, this could be traumatic. And somebody was trying to compete with you. Yeah. It's like they knew that your person was coming towards you in the Knight of Cups. They definitely could have knew with the High Priestess and the King of Cups, your person was like hiding how they felt. Because they could have mentioned you to that person, talked positive about you, but they never told this family member that they were interested in you. This family member just knew. And they felt like they needed to create some type of delay to prevent your person from coming toward you. And if it wasn't something that they wanted your person to do with them, this could be something they did behind the scenes that your person don't know they did. This could be deceit. This could be betrayal. Some type of deception that took place to slow your person down. Now, whoever you are, if this energy, this family member was in you know, the energy of trying to compete with you and they felt like it was a race and it was a secret. They were trying to hurry up and do this and hurry up and do that to get your person's attention. You're not in that energy because you don't know this is being done. Um, and you're not someone that's competing with someone secretly. It's like, these are things that you don't have to do. So whatever you were doing, you just chose to just keep working on it. Keep being patient. It's like, you're not at a race. You're going at your own pace. You choosing to do this, you're starting to see the fruits of your labor, the hard work that you've put in on yourself. You're starting to see a lot of progress. Yeah. And it's because of the work that you put in. You're someone that's very determined. So your determination is always going to pay off. You're someone that is very thriving. You have that drive, compassion, and um, you could be someone that's very skilled as well. It's like whatever it is that you're doing, no one can do it like you do. And it's because you put in a lot of time and effort. It's not rushed. Yeah, somebody feel defeated. Somebody is realizing that them being envious and jealous, secretly trying to compete with you, one-up you, it wasn't even worth it. Because they still had to walk away. They still had to move forward. They had to surrender. Yeah. Now, this is someone that just can't be trusted. If they were able to trick your person in the past, deceive your person in the past, get away with a lot of things in the past, they can no longer do this. Yeah. Something is completely over.
And it's like this person definitely got out of some type of connection. This could have been a relationship. And they were getting ready to come toward you. And whoever this family member is, this didn't happen by mistake. Because the your person was getting ready to come toward you before taking the time to heal, taking the time to release whatever it is that they went through in this previous connection. It's like they needed to release certain energy that they were in and a lot of bad experiences, a lot of trauma. This could be toxic traits as well. They also needed to wake up to something. This could be wake up to the fact that you and them have um, a divine partnership, but also wake up to who this family member truly is to them so they can set boundaries and this won't happen again. This is someone who also needed to start believing in their self. So they won't feel like they have to go outside of their self looking for advice. Or allowing a person to feel like they can cause a delay or a blockage in their life. It's like somebody needed to move in silence. And be very careful when it comes to um, trusting people. We have mystery. Yeah, somebody definitely. Um... Okay, so we have mystery and finances. It's like somebody was trying to keep something hidden when it came to some type of um, money. This could be someone who lied about some money. It's like they didn't want your person to know about something. Whoever this family member is. Yeah, something was supposed to stay hidden. And this was involving money. So there was a there was an ex involved. Whoever this family member is, this person was someone who was going back and forth between your person and an ex. They could have told this ex about you. They definitely could have wanted your person to go back toward an ex. They wanted your person to marry this person because we have wedding, ex lover, and then divine intervention. So they could have been trying to push for your person to marry this person just so they wouldn't come toward you because this person, you, you intimidate them. But whoever you are, you bring enlightenment to your person. You've helped them to go through a spiritual awakening. And you've helped them want to free their self from a toxic relationship could also be toxic friendships. It's like they walked away from whoever the person is that this family member wanted them to marry. But this family member was still in communication with this person. Yeah. And both of these people are snakes. So it wasn't hard for them to team up to make sure your person did not come toward you. Both people had a hidden motive. And I'm getting them choosing to team up together to go against you and your person to make sure you and your person don't come in union. That made your person realize they made a decision breaking up with that person, letting go of that person. That was like confirmation for them that this energy was a snake. But also realizing they have to cut ties with this family member as well. 
that person is a snake too. This is someone who, who was did dirty by a family member. And I'm getting whatever they did in the past to hurt you, it hurt your person. So it's like whatever they felt like they were doing to slow your person down or make your person wait, it caused some type of pain for your person. Because they listened to this family member. They could have took some negative advice and they could have chose to invest their money into something they shouldn't have. And they ended up having some type of money problems. This family member could have also stole money from them. And they don't know it was a setup just so your person would not feel confident coming toward you. They would feel like this is a setback. Now I have to set myself back. I need to wait. I need to stay stagnant. Not knowing it was all a setup. Yeah, because whoever this family member is, this is someone who... This person focuses on the material things. This is not a spiritual person. This is like an in the now type of person. They don't go with the flow. They're not looking for a long term. Um, they don't make long term decisions. So they're not going to give long-term advice. This is someone that you shouldn't be going to for advice or looking um, looking to when you're trying to pursue goals and different things like that. This person is like a setback type of energy. Yeah. Somebody is definitely looking back on all of the things that, um, all of the bad decisions that they've made. With reflection being here. A jealous friend was involved. So there were multiple people involved. And it's like when this family member deceived them, this was an eye opener for them to start paying attention to everything. And a jealous friend could have gotten exposed for something that they did to your person. Or they could have been in cahoots with this family member and this ex. The truth was never supposed to get out. So your person found out the truth. Everything that was done in the dark, it came to light. Somebody wants to be you. This is confirmation that whoever this family member is, this person wanted to be you. And you have someone upset because a love spell isn't working. This is this ex's hidden motive. This person was using magic, love spells over your person. They were a hidden enemy the entire time. Yeah. And they had bad intentions for your person. This family member choosing to vouch for this ex. Even if they knew this energy was doing magic over your person or not. They view this family member as someone that does not have their best interests at heart. That person has bad intentions for them as well. It's like they don't separate this person, this family member from this ex as, oh, this is my family member and this is my ex. If your person has went through a spiritual awakening, they're viewing people on a spiritual level, not in the physical, they're reading their energy. They're going off of the energy that they're in. Yeah, got cold hearted. And then Taurus, you could be a Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus. Somebody that did something very cold hearted could be a Taurus. Uh, a Taurus. A toxic family member. So this is confirmation that a toxic family member was involved. A jealous friend and an ex. Yeah, they only wanted money. And this could be what all three people had in common. They only wanted money. These are people that wanted financial gain. 
And if your person was choosing to make changes in their life, they're not doing what they normally do with these people. This could be overspending, not taking life serious. Um, they started saving, pulling their energy back. These are people that weren't accustomed to that. And if these are people that your person did a lot for, they could no longer do for these people how they were able to in the past. And this is why all of these people came together like this. Because it was all about money. You have injustice legal matter. So there was some type of injustice legal matter that took place. This could be rumors. This could be lies in a um, legal situation, false accusations. How do you feel about me? So there was some type of injustice done to another person to confuse the way that they feel about them. This could be injustice that was done to your person. So you wouldn't feel a certain way about your person. Or it was injustice done to you so your person would not feel the same way that they feel about you. Because somebody knew how your person felt about you. And if these are people that you don't know, you're not connected to, they didn't know how you felt about your person. They weren't around you. But I'm getting you and your person could have had mutual feelings for each other. And there was something injustice done to make sure that um, they could change your person's view. But as I said, it didn't change your person's view. The deception woke them up. It made them see, I need to cut ties with these people. And it, this all took place because whoever you are, you shifted your person's energy. You inspiring your person, being positive, staying optimistic, uh, focusing on yourself, working on yourself, being determined about life after going through something dramatic. That only rubbed off on your person if this is your divine counterpart, whether you were attached to them or not. It made them feel good about their self. It made them want to change the energy that they were in. And these people couldn't stand it because they were always able to influence your person in a negative way. You coming in, influencing your person in a positive way. Oh, they wanted to get you out of the picture. This is someone who didn't. These are people that did not. Um, they didn't see this coming. And they felt like they could get your person to cut ties with you before your person will wake up to the truth. And it just didn't happen. This backfired. Yeah. We have the key. All you do with ease and enthusiasm is the path to your goal. Actions are secondary. Make the energy within your primary focus. Do not underestimate the little joys. So you're definitely someone that you hold the key to success. And when I say that, you're someone who is very positive, very optimistic. You're not someone that's rushing into action. You're not all over the place. You're not trying to knock other people down to make it to the top. You're on your own path. You're not trying to be on another person's path. That's when you create blockages and cause delays for yourself. You chose to take action towards the things that you want to focus on in life. And this is why you're thriving. This is what keeps you determined and driven. This is what has inspired your person. And it's the little things that you do and have done that has given your person hope. That has made them um, view life differently, believe in their self at a time they never felt like they could. And in a way, no one else could. 
you hold the key and it may seem as if everything is easy for you this could be after going through um a toxic cycle if you chose to work hard to complete a cycle you've learned the lessons that you need to learn and you're going with the flow and just focusing on you, it's going to look easy to other people, but they don't know what you've went through. And you don't look like what you've went through. The pause is the shift. So them thinking that they caused a delay for your person they didn't know there was going to be a major shift in your person's life. They didn't know it was going to have your person questioning the energy that they're in and taking the steps to change that. This card says your past is now behind you. All you desire right now is in front of you pause to reconnect with your power and follow the pool of your destiny this is your person now that they've put the past behind them at a time they could have been unsure confused not knowing that they were in a toxic karmic cycle not knowing what was against them or what they were up against what was being done behind the scenes now everything is clear. Now they're following their destiny. After ending out a cycle and waking up to the truth. So this shift and this delay, it was needed. Cuz like if they would if they would have made a decision to just come toward you, after getting out of a toxic connection and not take out the time to do any self-reflecting, go within, um, focus on the things that they need to change, it wouldn't have been this outcome. They wouldn't be following their destiny. Because they would have came towards you in the energy that, they're, that they were in at that time not really having the knowledge of what they know now and then the energy that you were in and they would have felt like you and them weren't a vibrational match. They definitely would have felt like um, they could not match your energy and that would have made them feel less confident. It would have made them not have hope, not believe in their self. and not go within. It would have kept them in the energy of just feeling hopeless, feeling lost, holding on to a lot of bad experiences and holding on to whatever they were dealing with in that previous connection. Also not having knowledge of this person placing some type of magic over them. It's like they needed to release that energy recharge restore their energy before moving forward on their journey because they notice it's like they now know they don't have a journey with these people they have a journey of their own and they have the key. Nobody else has the key to their path, their journey. We have heart path. So this is someone who is finally following their heart. And they feel like them coming toward you before all of this took place, it would have been without passion. without maturity and that's emotionally 
um, or being emotionally stable, emotionally mature. Yeah, they felt like it would have led them to being uncertain about their self, frustrated, stuck in the energy of feeling insecure and not being able to follow their heart, just holding back. Now they feel like they can't go wrong with following their heart. 